And welcome back to the Highlander Summer Series. Matt Province with you here and joined by a familiar face around the men's basketball program. And joining us from, from all the interviews we've done from the farthest away, back home in, is it a Hermosillo, Mexico? Diego Willis. Diego, welcome. You said it pretty good, and thanks for having me. I'm, I'm happy to, to talk to you. Well, I want to start. I, I knew exactly where I wanted to start with you because I remember when you first came in, we were really excited about your, your shooting, your offensive game. I think the thing that that really hit me harder last year was towards the you know the middle to the end of the year, the minutes you were able to get because of the hard play on defense, understanding the system, and kind of just developing it with an understanding of, of the American game, uh, maybe from your time internationally. Am I hitting the nail on the head? Do you feel like that was where a lot of development came for you? Yeah, you said it perfectly. Uh, as you know, like my first year and a half, uh, I had a hard, hard time, like, uh, adapting to the U.S. system, Coach Joe, Coach Kennedy, they helped me a lot. And last year, I had a couple games when I was when I felt confident, which is really important. And I look forward to like the next two years to try to do something special for for the program. I think uh, I they still they haven't seen like the true Diego uh, what I can do. And I'm I'm re I'm working really hard to have a big year next year. Yeah, it's funny because we've had – even when you were freshman, there were some games mixed in where you could – when you got hot, you were able to score and show off your ability. You know, I mentioned the fact that defense improved. I also thought, you know, uh, ball distribution, you know, the way you were able to help move the ball and get more familiar with the offense was another area. Um, so that said, you've got to be excited about getting back to Newark, um, but you're a long ways away. What have you been doing during the, the uh, pandemic and the quarantine, et cetera, down in Mexico to keep yourself ready to go physically? Uh, well, when uh, the pandemic first started, I was just, you know, going for runs. Uh, there's nothing else you can do. Like, the gyms weren't open. But the last couple of weeks, uh, gyms are starting to open up. I, I get a basketball gym six days a week when I can go and work out. So I, I'm actually working really hard towards uh, next year. Next season, I think, is going to be big for me and for the program, and I, I look forward to it. All right, I'm going to ask you this. You can ballpark it. But in a session at the gym with Diego Willis, how many three-pointers go up in one workout session? Give me an estimate. Ballpark. Uh, definitely 100 plus, maybe 120, 120, 130. Makes. Uh, yeah, and, and of those, uh, I'm guessing there's a high percentage makes. I do 120. I'd be happy to get maybe 10 or 15, which uh, much below your standard. I'm, I'm well aware. <laughs> um, you know, to me, it's you've always been an interesting story because you've had such an awesome experience playing, you know, representing Mexico at different levels, uh, in different international competitions. I know this year was set to be a pretty exciting summer as well, a lot of cancellations, but talk a little bit about what you've been able to do and maybe what was 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 derailed this year that was, uh, you know, were things that you were excited about. Uh, well, I was looking forward to this summer. I was, uh, Mexico was going to play to qualify for the Olympics, uh, but it got postponed because of the pandemic. Uh, there was also a tournament for college players, it was going to be uh, actually Mexico was going to play at home. Uh, there's like Pan Am games for college students. So I was really excited, but uh, pandemic hit and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, it's funny, too, because I remember I had to think if I went back into the ESPN plus archives, I'd find an interview with us uh, when you were a freshman just talking about the difference between the levels of play. But I'm curious now to revisit that. Um, you've had two years now to really see what Division One basketball is truly all about, being immersed into it, getting the minutes, getting the playing time. When you look back now, what would you say the biggest difference or differences have been adjusting from the international game to the Division One NCAA game? Uh, there's two of them. Uh, first, I would say the pace of the game is is really high at Division One level. Uh, everything just happens so fast, and. I I'm starting to get adapted to it, but still, uh, it was a uh, it was a hard thing to do for me when I first got in. And the other thing would be defense. Uh, you know, you're playing against another team, and every each one of them can score the ball, can do a lot of things. And uh, as BK said, uh, if you want to play, you just gotta play defense. And it was a, a focus for me for the first two years. Uh, definitely, the first year I was I was struggling with it, but you know, coaches work with me and. They helped me a lot to get to like a uh, good defender. 
You've been around, obviously, now for a couple years and these guys that we have on the roster. But it's interesting, too, some, some top newcomers, some, some JUCO transfers. What excites you most about the Highlanders 2020-21 edition um, for when we get there? Well, what I've heard about the players is they're very talented. And I think they're gonna, it's going to be a good mix of uh, JUCO transfers. There's a freshman coming in. The freshman last year, now they're sophomores. Uh, sack and tone that's going to be leading the way. So I believe uh, we have a good mix of players that we can do interesting things in, in the new conference. I'm excited about that too. I think we, we're going to get a good chance in that conference. And I think we can do a really special thing this year. You know, it's funny because when you were talking about, um, you know, the adjustments between, you know, the international game and our game, I started thinking to myself, yeah, funny, and I almost have to make another adjustment again. Not that it's a huge adjustment. But I would wager to say we'll see a difference in the style of play, A-Sun and America East. Have you had any conversation with the coaches and the teammates about maybe the expectations of where things will be a little bit different as you get ready for another upcoming season but in a new conference? Well, we ha we've talked. Uh, I think the expectation for us is definitely making the tournament. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, which conference are we in. But now that we're in America East, I think that's the main goal for each player, make the conference tournament, make the – the NCAA tournament, and I think we can accomplish it if we work hard and, and we do the things the right way. Well, it's, it's really exciting, and, and I know that having you back for a third year, now you're a veteran leader. I mean, do you feel as though it's about time that, that in the transition of the natural course of a basketball career that you take some more onus on being a, a team leader and either leading by example or at least um, by, by taking these guys and being more vocal? Is that something that you thought about? Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is my third year, and I'm, as I've said, I'm working really hard to have a big year next season. And not only about playing, uh, about being helping the young guys, helping the guys that just came in, and being a leader. Uh, maybe not being the most vocal on the court, but maybe help on other things that people uh, don't really see from other sides. All right. Before I let you go, we've also had two years on the other side of NJT, which is the academic side, which is a big part of I think what the the student athlete. Uh, uh, experience is when you come and make a decision to go to a place like NJIT. Uh, maybe give me a quick thought on on thing that stands out, maybe a favorite aspect or something you really enjoyed about your two years in North that's away from the hard work. Um, maybe the relationships that are built. Uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of uh, friends that are all the sports or maybe just regular students that don't play any sports. And I actually develop a good relationship with a lot of people that I think is going to carry on uh to the after college life and i think this is really important i think njit athletics uh we have a good relationship relationship between all of us and i think that's that's maybe the the best thing besides basketball yeah <laughs> and so just right because the basketball has been uh, obviously awesome and we have a bright future for a couple more years with you diego and the team that has been built around you so I'm looking forward to getting you back. Uh, enjoy your time you know, in Mexico until you finally are able to come back and, and join things in Newark, hopefully sooner than later. So safe travel, stay yeah. healthy, and I'm looking forward for a big year three from you. Yeah, sorry. Thanks for having me. All right, that is Junior Diego Willis. I'm Matt Province. And, again, we thank you for watching this edition of the Highlander Summer Series with a look into men's basketball.